Uh, oh man. What is up, guys? What is up? Howdy, 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 howdy. <laughs> what is. Long time no see, guys. Can you hear me? By the way, I'm testing out this thingy. I got it for free off Amazon. There was like some coupon code, and it's like this arm so that you know the mic doesn't get into the way and um, I just don't knock over everything. Live on the last time I knocked over the mic and it was just like it was horrible. <laughs> Let's see. Oh man, how's your guys' weekend? actually work hey you know it's actually uh registering on the discord too what is up what is up my friends hola 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 i know so i thought it'd be a nice touch just because um you just gotta not know what you're chasing right i mean to be to be fair to Killing uh, Rain, there are a lot of cards. I could probably put the top 20 on there and it would reach all the way down to maybe like 40 $30. It's, the cards are just so much nicer than, um, than Battle Sounds. At least the chase cards are really value. Do I have a box of Jet Black? I do have, I think, one or two more boxes left. Um, they've been going, and for some reason, I don't know why, they've been going really, really quickly the past week and a half or so. Not sure, but like my match list is all out. I think I sold all that. All my double blades. I had like 15 remaining. All of those went in two weeks. I don't know what's going on. Is it like the hype is coming back, and especially for Japanese cards? I'm not really sure. I know. I saw those pulls. Oh, what a what a nice pull and happy belated. That was that was really cool. I'm really happy that you guys pulled that much, actually. I think that was, what, eight ultra rare hits or something, at least. Maybe ten in a box, which is a lot better than, than uh, what I usually expect. Uh, I think it is. I think it is. I have to check the store. Um, I have, like, one left. Let me check right now. But let me see if this works too. So let me switch over. I'm trying something new here. Ha! Two secret rares, yeah. Oh, there we go. It did work. Did it work? I think it did. Um, but these are two that will be opening today. And then I'll put a little <laughs> I, I, you know what? It, some people have it, some people don't, you know? Me and you, we're a little, a little bit less lucky. But then some other people, hey, and, and you guys, you guys put together, I think makes a good pair. Um, checking those products. LED, I am looking right now. Jet Black. Do I still have it in stock? I have two more available in stock. Yes, yes. And it is... 65, you're right. Fancy AF. <laughs> oh, shoot. That's not being so, uh, so gentle, or not so gentle with it. I also got a free shirt. So, if you're interested, check out the website down in the description below. It is a ditto. It's a regular ditto. The blue, there was another blue one that was, um, that was, uh, a shiny ditto from, from Shiny Star Wars and Shiny Days. Well, uh, uh, the game was. But it was kind of nice. Um, yep. Shiny Fate's a real box, never seen it. Um, so the past couple weeks I've been a little bit, like, just trolling people stories and some people are taking it way too seriously especially on tiktok where they're like oh dude um dude you're like that's that's you're you're such a you're like, so not real like what are you doing like yeah of course it's not real there's no real shiny face in um, we have mercy now 
you mean like Mercy from Overwatch? That's the first thing. <clears throat> Hello. Anyway, but yeah, no, it's I'm just doing this for fun because let me show you. I bought a bunch of fake, or let's say, different boxes from AliExpress. Uh, one, of course, is all right. This giant fades box. I'll show you right there. Oh. See that? Like it's hilarious. It's got the Corviknight, got the Charizard in there. They, of course, don't make... Look, look, look over here. It almost looks like there's a, an Evolutions pack in here. I actually haven't seen any fake booster boxes open besides XY Evolution, so I'm really interested in seeing what's going to be doing, what's going to be going on there. Get the box. Uh, yeah, I'll open it. <laughs> I'll open it. Um, another fake box that I got was the Cosmic Eclipse. This actually looks pretty on point, um, but it's a little bit lighter than a regular booster box. This one's very heavy. This is the real one. This is probably like 60% of the weight. So I also got a fake XY Evolutions box. And they didn't they also did not make a booster box for this, but a um a Dragon's Majesty one. Of the weird Okay, uh Jeff, so I was just trolling people on that. It's completely fake. Sorry if, if it wasn't um, sarcastic enough. I didn't mean for it to be so uh, uh, trickery with that kind of trickery, but it's absolutely fake. So what I did, what I did was I just, I just, I had a single that I bought from, from Target, and I just, you know, opened it, <laughs> and then I just like put the cards back in. There. But we, have, we don't have Matt Spy on here. He's the one that actually bought... Oh, wait, no, you do. You're on here. You're on the Twitch, though. You're on the Twitch, which is A-OK. -okay. Yeah, I mean, it's anything... It was, it was kind of clickbaity. I'm sorry. But, you know what? Let's do it. So what I want to do uh, is I want to open them side by side. It's going to be kind of a... <laughs> what is mad at me? It's like, oh, this is a real god pack? I can't believe it. Like, I can't believe this is a real thing. Um, but no, I actually, you know what? There, I've only opened a God Pack once in my life. That's when I was first opening um, lots and lots of XY Evolutions uh, last year. And I was just like going through and I'm like, wait a minute. Why are there holographic cards in every single one of this pack? And in the very back, it was the Mega Charizard EX Full Art. Uh, and I was like, wow, this is awesome. Um, so, I didn't know it was God Pack at the time, because I, 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 I don't know, I just thought it was like a weird anomaly, but now I know it's God Pack. And I've never pulled one since besides that fake video. But you know what? You know what? Um, Chilling Rain has had so many production issues, more so than Battle Styles. I don't know if you guys seen it on other YouTube openings, um, but it there's a chance there's a chance that it could either be a god pack we could have like double secret rares in a pack i've seen i've seen a bunch of things so let's try it let's 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 start looking at this yeah um so what we'll do is i'll open up both i'm going to do each one side by side um and you know give me guesses on what you guys are expecting for this um for these booster boxes. Oh, and Emily, to oh, I just saw your order, and here is the Jet Black. We'll put it in the back here. Right there, you see it? Put it in the front of that. There we go. Put that in the back. My guess is there's probably like a Golden Snow that's in there, right? So if you take a look at the bottom corner, these are the top 10 cards according to TCG Player right now. The Alt Moltres Alt Art is the absolute chase card right now. Um, hide it there so you can just kind of see. But the cards that we're trying to chase in Chilling Rain are going to be the Blaziken, the Galarian Moltres, uh, Shadow Rider Calyrex, Alt Art VMAX, 
Gold Secret Snorlax, the Galarian um, Zapdos, as well as the Articuno. We have the Zeraora Alt Art. We have the Ice Rider Calyrex, which is actually significantly cheaper. It's maybe, I think, 40% of the price of the Shadow Rider. The Galarian Slowking, which is my personal favorite out of all these 10. I just really like Galarian Slowking. And then finally, the um, Shadow Rider V Alt Art. So it'll be interesting if we... Um, if we pull any of them. I'll be really excited. All right, so let's start. I, I know I always um make these a little bit longer than, than I say. Oh, like, oh, it's going to be an hour, and then ends up being like three hours. I'm sorry. So let's try that. Ooh. I haven't opened up too much of Chilling Rain. I've opened, I've opened up a lot, a lot of EPVs, and none of it worked out well for me. I, I I'm just really bad luck when it comes to opening for myself which is why i'm just like i should just open them up on live streams like i'll probably have better luck if somebody else opens them for me to be honest Ooh, you know okay so so this wrapper also feels like different material than the pokemon one pokemon center one this feels just like very typical I don't know, you buy from the grocery store type of wrapper. It doesn't have the Pokeball on there. Whereas on the Chilling Rain one, when I opened it, it has that little, you know, Pokeball white dust on there. Um, it's a little bit softer. It's a little bit stretchier. So right off the bat, if you didn't already know that Shiny Page was fake, um, you can kind of, it would be a little bit iffy from there. So let's just compare these side by side. So I'm going to open it. Oh, and there's kind of these, um, you know, like the, uh, whatever it's called, right? Take it out. Make it really nice, and then put it in the back. This one, it's already, there's not really like a little cutout, right? It's just overlapping. You see, look how cheaply they make these. Like, at least if you're gonna make them fake, make a little bit more interesting. So let's pull out a couple of these packs and look at the, the artwork itself. So first one, right? For Chilling Rain, we have the Articuno. We got the Zaps. Oh, look, what's really cool. We have all four in the first two rows. So you have the Galarian Moltres, Zapdos Articuno, as well as the Shadow Rider Calyrex. So if we can pull any of those, that's going to be pretty, pretty, pretty dang dope. All right. <laughs> okay, okay, look at this, look at this. So they are the same Pokemon as in Shining Fates, but you got the Dragapult. It's very shiny. Look at this. Very shiny. It's very light. And there's five pack- oh, there's five pack arts in, in the Chilling Rain? Oh, did I miss something? Let's see. Uh, oh, ha, you are correct, sir. I'm sorry. We missed the Ice Rider as well. This one's actually pretty cool, huh? Look at that. Nice, good call. Well, here's hoping Matt's by, right? Um, but look, okay, so we got two, two here. We got the Charizard. Okay. I mean, Toxicity I use uh, in my team, so it's kind of fun. Corviknight. Okay, so one thing right off the bat. Yeah, three birds, both Calyrexes, you're right. right. Right off the bat, all these packs, they look a little bit smaller. Take a look at the height. They feel a little bit smaller. Oh, no, they're actually about the same, same height. But this one feels significantly lighter. So that's pretty interesting. I think there's probably the same amount of cards in here, but who knows? Maybe fake cards are just um, lighter. We'll see. Okay, okay, you ready? Let's do. Uh... Actually, Matt's spot. You know what? This is your box. Which one would you rather me pull first? We're gonna we're gonna be doing them side by side anyway. But dealer's choice. So just for some context, that's why I bought this box a couple days ago. I think on Wednesday-ish or so, and I'm like, oh boy. I'm, I'm super excited. I haven't opened up um, Chilling Rain on stream for anybody just yet. So, we'll see what happens. Okay. Here we go. You guys ready? Alright. Got a drag pole here. Let's start. Ooh, okay. So, I'm opening it right now. It actually feels... I mean, the, the plastic itself feels a little bit cheap um the texture is not so great it's not as i want to say soft like aluminum soft as 
the, the, the real packs. And right off the bat, right, we don't see a code card here. And let's take a look. Let's take a look and compare. Oh, these are really, really poorly made ones, you know? If you buy these off $10 from AliExpress, you can't expect to get really good quality fakes. The, the, I'll compare it side by side with a real Pokemon card. Um, but you can't really expect that these cards, like, it, it's all washed out, this color. I'm gonna pull, I'm gonna pull a, um, a Stunfist out of here to show you side by side, right off the bat, what it looks like. This on the right is a real Pokemon card. This is a fake Pokemon card. So right off the bat, you can see it's just dulled. There's no texture whatsoever here. Um, and it's just very clear that it's fake. The borders are all wrong, but with the manufacturing issues nowadays, who knows? Um, but yeah, let's go. I'm not even going to try to do a three card thing because what we're just hoping for is a bunch of hits, like fake hits, that'll be exciting. So this will be the first time I've ever seen Shining, oh, Shining Fates, um, fake cards. So right off the bat, we have a reverse hollow all around Galarian Weezing. Look, look, look at that text over there. It's so tiny. <gasps> first hit, first big hit. We have a non-hollow <laughs> Shining Rillaboom VMAX. And the shiny Ditto V! Look at this! Look at that! Look at that! Right there, next to me. Oh man. Oh. Perfect. Wow. Wow. Non-holographic shiny Ditto V. Perfect. A Grim Snarl. Frost Moth. You know what? I'll give him credit. At least it's all the cards that are in Shining Fates right now. It's not like um, I don't know, like a base set Charizard in here, which would be kind of cool too. Gym Trainer, I recognize you. And we finish off with a Morpeko. Huh, was that? How many cards was that? Let's count that again. What? Wait, wait, wait. I feel like that, is that why it's so, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, you only get 10 cards in here, as opposed to a real pack where you get 11 cards plus a code card. So that'll explain why it feels um, so much lighter, right? So, I don't know what I'm gonna do with these cards, so Mad Spy, they're likely all going to you. Sorry about that, bud. <laughs> I'll probably save a couple, just just for shits and giggles. Um, okay, it, it, it was technically a god pack, right? Like, if we got this, um, the chase card would have been the Rillaboom and the Shining Ditto V, and then everything else would have been a shiny, a baby shiny. Been great, right? But, that being said, let's start off, start off with a real pack. I'm really hoping you get, I really want to see the Zero Aura in real life. Okay. So take with a code card. And this is my first booster box break for Chilling Rain. Okay. Ready guys? All right. You got Seabold. Laeron. Laeron. Expedition Uniform. Sfeel, Crab Brawler, we got the Crab Boxing Dude, we got Golurk's Pre-Evolution, we got Porygon 2's, <laughs> Porygon 1, <laughs> Grookey Gang, we got a Reverse Hollow Kecleon, and, oh, a Volcarona, so that was probably a green card, guys, no, that was okay, that was okay, still got 35 packs more to go, so, Keep at it. All right, out of the way. Let's let's do a little bit of Charizard magic, okay? Let's try that. Let's see how it looks. Ooh, I'm just gonna rip it. Oh, that ripped really easily. Huh. Okay. That's, oh my gosh! Another hit. A Evettel. Evettel. Woo! Amazing rare. It's good to see shining, uh, amazing rares again. Crobat V. Ooh, big shiny Grimmsnarl V. Oh, see, what if they're gonna give us fake cards? Why not just give us all hits? Why are you gonna get? Why are you gonna give us like an uncommon Floatzel? I've had wait. Oh! I found my chase card. I found my chase card. I am putting you over here, next to the special delivery Pikachu, because I hit my chase card, guys. We, we let's pack it up and go, and we're done. We're done with the stream. Rillaboom, Galarian, Rapidash, Mincino, and 
another more Petco, but the regular version, and that's it. Huh. This one felt like there was another card behind it. Fake cards nonetheless, but pretty exciting. Hmm. Not bad. All right, let's go with the Zapdos now. Mm-hmm. Okay. I have a good feeling. It would be Ball Guy. It would be. I have a good feeling about this one, though. Okay. So, code card. Move you out of the way. Three cards. See? Just uh, shuffling these cards it feels so much better in the hands. It's kind of sticky. I don't, I don't really know how to describe it, but fake cards just feel fake. You, they almost fake... Oh, you know what they feel like? They feel like when you buy like gas station really cheap 50 cent playing cards that's what they feel like versus like i don't know like a like a what is it called bicycle that's the that's how it feels different do the hits have a foil on them no no oh actually you know what maybe they do let's let's go back and check um so the vettel was or the galarian wheezing nope doesn't feel like anything good but it is holographic right take a look None of the other cards, it actually looks like none of these other, you know, quote unquote hits are even holographic, but you get one reverse holo per thing. So the most we can hope for the chase card in the set, right, would be a non holo or a reverse holo shiny Charizard V Max. So let's go. All right, Flannery, Rugged Helmet. Hmm. Okay. Come on. Vestra. The crying, crying, crybaby Sobble. Letty Ba, I actually just got a Southern Island version of that. I'm really happy about it. A mask. And a Lycanroc holographic. He looks kind of scary. He looks like... I don't know, man. I wouldn't mess with him. All right. Next one. This wire is getting in the way. It's getting kind of annoying. Maybe I'll wrap it over the... Uh the mic so i don't keep going over it that should make it better okay yo what'd you miss Gallade? um so we've opened two packs each two of chilling rain so we've gotten a couple of reverse hollows and a couple of holographics and we've opened up two shiny fates packs and we've gotten so many hits so so many hits but not the charizard and thanks yeah i'm trying out this new setup let me know how, what you think i'm gonna put up the prices on the the chilling rain as well so you guys can just have it for reference Super Saiyan? I mean, I wish. You know what? Okay, so I've been, um, I haven't watched Dragon Ball in years, right? Like the last one I'd watched was GT back when it first came out in Japanese. And only now have I recently watched Dragon Ball Super. And it's actually not bad, I wanna say. Um, it's pretty good. The ending was, I, I, I plowed through, I think, hundreds, what is it, all 170 episodes or something? 130 episodes? Pretty relative. I mean, pretty good. Very fan service like. Um, but at the ending was a little bit, a little bit tame for me. So I'm waiting for, for whatever comes out of that. But it's kind of like the whole time while I was watching, I was thinking to myself, you know, back in the day when Goku first went Super Saiyan, ooh, these are kind of gross. Um, the whole world seemed to collide and shift, and with every hit, seemed to move worlds. But now he's, you know, literally a million times stronger but the damage still feels the same, if not a little bit worse. So it's like, how how do you even, like, I don't have perspective over that. Have you ever played Dokkan Battle? What is that? Yeah, Dragon Ball Super is pretty lit. Um, I, I wish, uh, what's his name, Hit, not Hit. Um, the last guy, Jiren, was a little bit more, more like, cool looking. Like, he's just big and brawlic, but I kind of wish he looked a little bit more evil or something. Um, but definitely the, uh, the whole, like, they can um, go into like the god mode and everything was pretty cool. All right, two, three. We're back on our third pack of Chilling Rain. Nothing too crazy yet, but we'll see. Actually, let's take a look at the the cutting on these, right? So it's always been an issue with Pokemon Center lately that the, the I mean, it's not great. Look at that. If we, if we put them up a little bit, there is some edge wear on here. So let's hope we get something good. Goku Black arc is my favorite part of the show. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's literally just evil Goku. Like, it's a what if situation almost. Um, so they, def they definitely played a lot of fan service there, um, which I think was was worth it. It's what their first Dragon, true Dragon Ball, um, canon like 
series in over 20 years or something. So, can't fault them for that. I, I kind of liked it. Tauros. And I love, I actually personally like the fact that they just bring back Free Frieza. Because that was such a um, cool part of the childhood. Like how they make the effort to make the fakes with the hollow effect, but they can't be. You know what? Maybe it's just um, so in the manufacturing facility, right? It's like one part produces the cards, and then it's like one dude. He's just sitting there at the very end, putting the cards in the box, and he's just like, "I, I hate my job. Um, it's not worth. It. I'm getting paid less than minimum wage. I'm, I. This is my my rebellion against uh, the man. Maybe. That's that's my theory. Um. Oh, you mean Goku's fighting for his universe? I guess. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> um, but any any time I see, uh, let's see, Mr. Satan and Boo, really like that as well. Oh, here is okay. So maybe what I'll do is I will put the front card in the back. So that that's my burn on um, on these hits. Okay, send to Scorch. Lapras, Impy Dimp, Hatrum, Stone Journer. You know what? Even if we opened these packs for real and gotten these cards, nothing would have screamed like, ooh, crazy cool. Like, where's the Suicune? Where's the Skyla? Pierce is kind of cool, I guess. But like, I don't want my thing to be an Indeedee. No offense to Indeedee, but I think there's some cool cards out there. Like, can you guys make something a little bit, like they're making it a little bit too real for me, guys. Oh no, Jiren's not evil. No, I know, I know. But um, I just wish he had like, he, he didn't look, maybe, maybe that, was, that was the whole thing, right? Like he's, he didn't look menacing, but he, not menacing, he didn't look powerful, but he was just that powerful. Like, um, I don't know. I, I just wish, like he looked a little too plain to me to be like the final boss of the series of that, of Dragon Ball Super. That's all. Let me throw it up in the back. But I am curious as to what they're going to be doing next, because it's kind of like a revival of Dragon Ball, right? Um, and then, you know, all these kids nowadays don't, like, they kind of know Dragon Ball. But it is, it's a pretty lasting legacy, that anime. One of the top ten selling of all time. On Sh is it Shonen Jump? I think. And then, oh! We have our first hit, Mad Spy. Oh, and we have the Metagross Club! Hey! Remember last time when all we could hit was In Chilling Rain was Metagrosses? Well, welcome to three weeks ago. Oh, really? I like top. I like top a lot. Wait. Oh, no. I'm thinking hit. What am I? What? Man. I am all over the place today. I had a long day. I went to... Drove out to Brooklyn. Metagross! Nice! First hit, first hit. Only four packs in, that's actually tracking. We're on track with our hits. All right, let's try Core of a Night here. Um, it's funny how people, people try to sell fake booster boxes for the same prices. See, I, I feel like, do, does anybody really fall for that? Most people, at least what I've seen on eBay, sell the proxies, They or it says proxy. Oh no, I'm sorry, man. Yes, actually, you like Metagross just oh whatever. Metagross comes and goes as he pleases. He can, he does whatever he wants, and nobody can say anything about it, right? So okay, so the, the trend seems to be we get two. Ooh, our first big hit. We got Skyla. Skyla, the full art trainer, worth probably around thirty-five bucks right now. Um, I actually sent a couple of mine to get graded by PSA right before. Oh, second hit. This is our best booster pack so far. Um, I sent a couple of these to get graded right before they shut down. So I think I sent it in at like the $20 range or so. I forget. Not bad. Got the rainbow rare medical. <laughs> See, at least you got the um, the rainbow rare. I think I got the full art V-Max or something, which fine, I guess. Skylatran, I know. Skyla Tran, um, Vietnamese Skyla, hilarious. When you said that, died. All right, let's continue this good luck here. Um, yeah. 
Boom, crab bomb and a bolt. Let's see. Ledian. Marie, my one of my favorite sheep. Let's see. Anything good. Let's switch up the camera view after that. We got a reverse hollow cast form and Ooh, a scallopede. You look gross. Um Oh, to answer one of your questions, um, what is my favorite way to eat potatoes? Um, I would have to say, like, it's super basic, but I really like fried potatoes. Anything fried, um, obviously. But, wait, if you ask me what kind of fries, I'm actually of the opinion that home fries, those big, thick, seasoned fries, are my absolute favorite because they're so starchy. Um, and they're just so potato-y, which is also why like number two on my list is like the whole baked potato. So um, take that what you will. I am not a huge fan of curly fries, waffle fries, uh, like they're good, but I just much rather have sweet potato fries. Is this someone's box or for your collection? This is from Mad Spies. So um, this is his box. And you know, since he bought the box, he can have the hits from the Shining Fates, you know, proxy box as well. Steel fries are better. Are better? What's steel? What's steel? Oh, our first hit, steak fries. Oh, do you like the frites? Like the really thin ones? Or like the ones that come in like chunks? Darumuka. I need a Dotler in my personal collection. Same thing with the car coal. I have a Q fan already. Oh, sweet potato, sweet potato fries are so good. Um, and they're like easy to make at home too, except I'm, I never did that. Oh, we have so many of these. I feel like every pack has come with a Crobat VMAX, whether or not it was a holographic or a reverse holo or something, or non holo I'm Getting tired of Crobats, you know? Tired of them in the game, tired of them in the TCG. Ugh, kill me. Um, yeah, anytime I go anywhere and they're like, oh, do you want fries with that? I'm like, yes, please make it. Um, Sweet potato. But what other what other ways do I like to eat potatoes? Um, yeah, like. Uh, oh shoot! What's the one where you 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 kind of slice them real thin and then you put them with like sour cream and like whatnot and it's like not a casserole or something, but I really like that as well. Fancy AF. All right. Celio. Come on. Oh, oh I'm having I'm, like my hands are just not having it with opening these cards. Even just during regular um, openings for myself. It's kind of weird. For Frau. Venipede? Rapid I didn't know Rapid Strike Urshifu also made an appearance in Chilling Rain, but because he's in battle styles, like what? And we have a shaman. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. Next one. Let's go. Let's see what's here. Uh, oh, this one's a little tougher to open. I'm not sure. What, oh, look at this. Pokemon.com. At least they're... I'm just reading through this right now. I'm just looking for any spelling errors. I don't even know. Let's see. Ugh. Have you guys any opened up any other product in the past couple weeks? Have you pulled anything cool? Let's see. Oh, a Sentis. When are we gonna get the Charizard? We've pulled so many of these. Now I'm kind of like, give me something good. Like I'm so jaded over all these baby shinies. Give me something that's worth it. Hmm. Yamper though. Yamper's cute. At least they're using the right art and everything. All right, all right. I have a good feeling about this card, about this pack. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a good pack. It's gonna be a good pack. Come on. Let's see. You're our only dealer. I know. <laughs> okay. Let's see. That's why I'm really. I'm, 
what else do I want you to get? Um, I think you getting the Galarian Slow King would be really good for my ego because that's one of my favorite cards. Um, but we'll see. Old Cemetery. Why is it so creepy? Pokemon, you're not supposed to be creepy. Oh, are you guys going to get Diamond and Pearl when it comes out? Bri oh, sorry. Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Um, I don't remember playing that game, to be honest. I might have played it, and it probably came out during, I don't know, I want to say high school. But I really don't remember. Another Lycanroc. Ugh. I don't remember playing it, so it's going to be kind of a new experience for me. Let's see. Let's switch the view. Let's do it this way. I'm going to open up in front of you guys like this. Ugh. Okay. Some, some of these packs are really hard to open. Love Gen 4. Yeah. Um, I'll probably get the open world one too. Legends of Arceus. Same. Um, like, uh, I just haven't paying, been paying attention to the to the, um, to the the stories as much anymore though. It's like, it's kind of all the same, right? I wish they would revamp that part. You know, like... Add a little bit more twists to the video games. But I can't complain about the battle style, like how it's being played. Maybe Legends of Arceus um, is going to introduce something a little bit cooler in terms of mechanics and actually live battling and the live catching. That seems like something pretty cool that I would be into. Um, another one that just came out. There's actually two video games I'm actually even more excited about. Maybe not more excited, but just um, relatively speaking, because they are going to be pretty recent and they're going to be coming out earlier then Pokemon is number one. Uh, Skyward Sword just came out on Friday. Have you guys played that yet? My brothers are like right over there playing. Um, I think they're playing Skyward Sword right now. But um, I've never actually really played that game, so I don't know. I played Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, the original Zeldas, um, and Breath of the Wild. But I, I stopped. I didn't play Wind Waker. Didn't play... Um, uh, crap, I mean, well, I, I didn't play Skyward Sword. The, the one in the middle. Twilight Princess. I never played any of those three. So any remakes of those on the Switch would be great. Because I just never had a Wii U or a Wii. So I just never got a chance to play it. Weedle. Lavapus. Reverse Hollow Impact Energy. That's kind of nice looking. And... Oh, an Agron. What are you doing to us, dude? Oh, I'm sorry. Shoot. This is what you guys did. <laughs> That's what you got. And that's what you got. Ugh. Let me switch back to the, switch back the view before I forget. Wind Waker was dope. I love that one. Um, I always like reading those theories on like the um, like where Zelda is on the timeline. So I, I I feel like I have to play Skyward Sword just because it was the, supposedly the very first Zelda where they um, introduced the Master Sword and stuff. I guess. Mega Evolutions. Um, me too. Me too. All right, let's try. Let's go from here. Ooh, this might be the worst card that we can get a hit from. Is a greedent duck. Ditto. Obstagoon. Dracloak. Dracloak. Darumaka. Dotler. Ooh, they just feel so icky. It feels like I need to wash my hands after it. There's nothing on here, but something about it just feels. Not great. Would not recommend. It's not as good of an experience as I thought it was going to be. You know how um, on, I think it was PokeRev's channel, where he opens up the fake, I think it was a rocket or a fossil booster box, and he was like, I can't even tell. It all feels the same. It all looks the same. I want that qu kind of quality in my fake booster boxes, you know? Boner Ditto would be worse, probably. You are correct. Yeah. This is true. All right, come on, three and one. What's gonna be good here? Let's find out. All right, Drizzly. Oh, good feeling about this peony. I'm only, I, I just started playing uh, Frozen Tundra or yeah, Frozen Tundra expansion because I just finished um, the other expansion, which was not good at all. I, I thought that was pretty boring actually. So I'm hoping this one is a little bit better. Gallade, hey. It's your boy. Hide him there. There. Nice. 
Hey, Phoenix. Phoenix Fighter, how are you doing? How are you doing today? Thank you for joining. What we're doing is we are opening up and doing a box battle between Chilling Rain and a, as you can see, fake or proxy Shining Fates booster box. I'm doing well. I'm doing well. I had a bit of a long day. I was driving in and out of New York, um, went to a barbecue, and I actually have a work call at 12 a.m. tonight, so really looking forward to that. <laughs> Um, I haven't prepared whatsoever for it, so the SVP is going to be on, so I should probably prepare. So cute. But not as cute as um, uh, Yamper. Your stream keeps being delayed for 15 seconds. How about you guys? Are, is the rest of you, are the rest of you getting um, delayed as well that, that for that long? Hmm. It would be kind of unfortunate. But I guess it shouldn't matter. Or should it? I'm not really sure. Okay. Is the music too loud, by the way? I'm still trying to play around with it. I'll make sure it's not clouding your guys' experience. Um, but so far... Okay, cool. Thanks. We're confirming. Um, I'm a little sad that we haven't pulled any of our chase cards from the Shining Fates fake booster box so far like i would have thought we pulled the charizard they would make it juicy for us we get a caterpie oh hey you know what's the best thing about this is this is not even the secret rare hit of the box i don't think 75 out of 198 nope this is a full art shadow rider cali calyrex v max what's up this is our second big hit besides the metagross in the back but let's take a look at it okay so um Honestly, it's a little bit heavy on the left-hand side over here in the back. Um, I'm just looking at it through the light to see if there's any scratches on the surface. I don't think I see any initially right off the bat. Oh, yeah, I will turn it down a little bit. There. Okay, let me know if that's better. Um, there's a little bit of whitening on the edge. You can see on the corner here, there's some whitening. But overall, the alignment on this side, it's a little bit heavy on on the right hand side but overall a solid pull solid card nice that's a good pull so that's our second hit let me sleeve this up for you all right i turned it down a little bit if it's still a little bit too loud though let me know i will still continue to turn it down it's a little bit loud. actually it's actually a little bit loud on my side too so more than happy to adjust as needed Woo! Very nice. Let's let's put you in front of this Metagross. The Metagross is kind of gross, right? That's a nice pull, man. I'm happy for you. Let's see if we can get an alt art of that. It's still a there's still a good possibility we'll get one, by the way. Um, so we're expecting we have, I don't know, let's say 25, 26 maybe more of these packs left. We expect to get hopefully around six more hits. So we have two so far. All right. Oh. At least this is one we haven't gotten yet. Delmize. And then we're going to flip it upside down because that's... Oh, you know what? That's that's the order. Cramorant. Gym Trainer. I actually don't have a Gym tra Trainer in my personal collection, which is kind of sad. It's like a $1.50 card. Oh. It comes back to haunt me. Yikes. We'll ignore that for, for a moment. Qfant. Is it just me that they're getting lazier and not putting in shinies? They're putting in like these, like Q fan in here. What? What's going on, guys? Make my experience a little bit more fun. Fake Pokemon Company. Let's see. I'm trying to be good and putting all my wrappers, all these uh, pack wrappers, into the garbage can while I'm opening it, so I don't have to clean up as much later on. So it's all about organization and key. It, that, that's key, guys. Um, oh, another question that was asked um, on Instagram was DC or Marvel? So I'll say, first of all, I always find Marvel's movies, the MCU, to be a little bit more entertaining just because it's, it's designed for the masses. 
Galarian chest plate, so it's inherently going to be a little bit more um, just entertaining. But that being said, I used to work for DC. Um, I used to work in their the DC Entertainment, uh, doing some like strategy and ops and stuff. So I have to. I mean, not have to, but I feel like um, I'm on their side. Um, they've they've had a better better publishing unit. Um, their collectible side is a lot, is pretty strong, and their TV shows are pretty top notch. So. Um, I'm going to stick my neck out for, for, for DC on this one. Plus, Batman is pretty dope, right? Aquaman made a billion dollars. And they're owned by the best uh, entertainment company, WB, right? Uh, Warner Brothers, or I guess Warner Media now, which also owns HBO Max, which is now broadcasting Space Jam 2. If you haven't watched it already, I'm probably going to watch it after this. Ball Guy. What is up? We got our chase. We got our chase. And yes, DC is better than Marvel in animated, for sure. Bat uh, Batman the Animated Series? Woo! Woo! Oh, look at this. Look at this card. What a beauty. Let's, let's take a look for a second and see the alignment. Alignment is poor. Alignment is probably a two. Um... But you know what? Let's see. Let's look for any surface scratches. Oh, you know what? There's a little bit of bend here. Ooh, see that edge wear down there? This would not this would not pass even like a PSA 6. I'm sorry, guys. But you know what? This was the best pull we had in all time. I'm sure uh, you know, a lot of you are jealous of me right now, but sucks to suck, guys. I'm I, I, I'm the Charizard King. Let <laughs> me put this in the front. Next to ball guy. Oh man, you know, okay, this is really weird. Exactly, exactly, that's so weird. Did they do that on purpose? Did they know? This is kind of scary. Grade it. I wonder what would happen if I graded it. Like, would they come back and just be like non-gradable or would they try to authenticate it and be like, AliExpress Charizard VMAX PSA 6. If they did that, it would totally be worth the, what is it currently, 200 bucks to grade it. Because I would have the only one in the world. Population 1 PSA 6. It'd be as rare, if not more rare, than the Illustrator Pikachu. Alright, so... I, I'll give him that. No, all, all these cards are truly Shining Fates. We're not seeing any Battle Styles. We're not seeing any Cosmic Eclipse. We're not seeing any Caterby EX Blastoises. Which I'm kind of bummed out about. We'll probably see that in an XY Evolutions fake box. Which I'm gonna be... Um, opening up, ooh, that was a green card, um, which I'm probably going to be opening up uh, in a video soon. I've been meaning to do it, but there's just so much, um, I don't know, just like filming, recording it, and then editing it just takes it all out of me, or it just takes forever, and like, I just drag my feet on it. I should do more of that, but that's probably why I just haven't been um, doing too many streams as well. Cub Fu, it took you to level 70 to get you to get to Urshifu. It took forever. I was just sitting there in um, that Kung Fu dojo. I forget what area that's called. Um, just training on level 60 characters. Ugh, it took forever. They were watching my stream. They absolutely were. They were like, Poke Pointers, let's uh, send him that box, that exact box. Screw with his head and make sure he broadcasts this live because they're going to refer to... Oh. Oh, that was weird. Okay, so no quality control. Usually, there's the reverse hollow, and then it's upside down. But it looks like it's upside right up, right side up this time. I would be pretty uh, happy happy if we could pull that shining Lapras in real life. That's a pretty cool card. Lapras is a pretty popular Pokemon too, right? I always forget. Okay, 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 okay. Zapdos, Zapdos, give me. Give me a, give me a Roadrunner Zapdos. Pretty cool. I, can, I actually can't wait until um, I get towards the end of uh, Frozen Tundra. Is it Crown Tundra or Frozen Tundra? It's gotta be Frozen, right? Where am I getting Crown Tundra from? Weird. All right, three to the back, one energy. It's a water. Water energy means, ah, I have no idea actually because Galarian Moltres, or 
is none, none of the birds are water type. All right, I'm gonna try to switch the views for the next two packs and try not to forget that it's that way so that you guys can see the cards and I don't mess it up. Rugged Helmet and a Seviper Gross. More like a Gross. Okay, okay, okay. Why does he keep doing that? Oh, it's annoying. It's just like all these messages at once. All right, let's switch the views. Go to full webcam and let's try this again. Corviknight. Corviknight fake pack. Let's go. Man, I am so stinky at this. I need to work out more. That's what I need to do. My fingers are just not strong enough. A Rillaboom, Shining Rillaboom. Ooh, a more Peko V Max worth about $2.50 on TCG Player. I know that because I have like five of those and I look them up and I'm like, oh, I have too many. I need to sell them on eBay to recruit my costs. Pin Archon. Huh, not bad. All right. Ice Rider. Open from the bottom. And let's go. Okay. So take the code card out. Put the three energy card. And let's go. Okay. Let in. Then these are not coming off part nicely. Wandering lantern. Ooh. Deli Bird, Farfetched, Porygon, Heracross. Oh, that's a nice looking one. First time one I've seen. Sobble, Reverse Hollow Gardevoir, and we got, oh, a Banet. Is that holographic? I can't tell. Nope, it's non hollow. Man, can we get something better? I want something a little more exciting. All right, back to the regular scene. It's easier that way. Shiny Fates. Shiny Fates. Shiny Fates. Can we get another Charizard and a Ball Guy? All right. Oh, wait. Wait a minute. Did I just get gypped? I didn't get a holographic. Maybe a non holo Evettel. Oh, man. Ugh. Losers. Chrysola. Choodle. Decidueye. Damask. Stunfisk. Hey. Hmm. Stunfisk. Rusted Shield and a Sphinx. I was totally scammed. Not a single holographic card. You know what I should do? I should report. I should bring this up to AliExpress and be like, they gave me a fake of a fake. Terrible. Terrible people. All right. Uh, in my mind, this is going to be a white coat card. So we won't know until we get to the very end, but we'll find out. Oh, man. Oh, man, the QC on these packs. Terrible. You should ask for the manager. Well, only if I can get a Karen haircut. If I don't, I feel like they're not going to take me seriously. Scroll the skies. One Tree Hill. Why is she so, like, she's just unnecessarily thick. Coughing, your mask, a little creepy. Snorunt, down sweet. Cub Fu. Reverse Hollow Kakuna and, <gasps> it's something, it's something. A Lipard. We see way too many of these in new Pokemon Snap. They're just lounging around. The Lipard. Third hit. Or if we count Charizard and two ball guys, it's our sixth hit. All right, let me uh, sleep you up. Not bad, not bad. Getting a good amount of these here. At least it's not like one of those um, booster boxes where you just get nothing. That was so sad. That would be so sad. Because it's a very chance, real chance that that happens. Um, in my ETBs, I 
I think I opened, what, 10 or, no, 16 of them at this point, I think. I've opened a lot for myself. And I would say 10 of them actually had nothing in there. Not even a holographic card. Like, this, these are also the Pokemon Center ETBs. So it was, and like the, the mistake ones. So I don't know if there was something fishy going on there. But I just, like, it was just totally not worth it to buy those. I was so angry. I just made a bunch of, like, TikTok and Instagram reels just saying how bad Chilling Rains is when... Look over here, Matt's Spy is pulling Calyrex VMAXs, you know? Oof. Alright, alright, alright. And look at the stack already that we've gotten on Shining Fates. Alright, let's go on from the right side. Alright. Good luck for the Galarian, Moltres, Altart. Got the Sneasel out in front, giving us some good luck. Put you in the back. Let's see. So, are you all gonna um, open up Evolving Skies, or are you just kind of waiting for the Pokemon 25th anniversary? Because Evolving Skies, remember, has um, EV Heroes, and it's also going to have the two newest sets. Um, Sky, what is it called? Sky, Towering Skies, something, something. I forget what, they're all the dragon types, like Duraludon um, and Rayquaza in there. One Tree Hill, Reverse Hollow, and, oh, this is a little sticky in the back. The Walrein, Rolrein. I think it would be pretty dope, though, um, opening up Evolving Skies. Just for the evolutions, I, I guess. Um, what other chase cards would I think would be in there? I mean, everybody wants the Umbreon. Towering Perfection and Blue Sky Stream, yes. That, that's kind of a mouthful for Pokemon. <gasps> Another one! Ah! Yes! Wow. Wow, look at the stream. Oh, Shining Fates. Two Charizards, two Ball Guys. I can't even take it anymore. All we need now is a Shining Reverse Hollow Charizard VMAX, and we'll have completed the Shining Fates set. Dang. You think if I posted it up on eBay, if anybody would buy it? Like, I'd be like, Proxy, Shining Charizard. And, you know, I listed it for like, Eight dollars. You think anybody would buy it? Maybe they would for like for giggles, right? Just for for fun. I personally wouldn't, but that's just me. Maybe people like having fake cards. All right. Sheesh. Let's see. Avery, cast form. Come on. What else we got here? Oop. Sobble. Reverse Hollow Ink and <sighs> Holographic Tapu Fini. Huh. Alright. Not bad. But you know what? It sure as hell ain't no reverse hollow Charizard. Um well, you know, we also got the Suicune, we got Skyla. If we added all that up, that's got to be over $1,000 worth of value at that point, right? <gasps> what did I just say? What did I just say? This looks even better than it, than, than the real... No, it doesn't. It does not look as good as the real one. But I think I could get 8 bucks for this on eBay, right? What? Ooh, too bad the cut is so poor. Oh my gosh. Ew. Triple Charizard! Oh man. It's Charizard land here. Finally, this pack is showing its worth. It was totally worth the $10 plus, I think, $4.50 of shipping and handling that I paid. But that's also distributed across four other, three other booster boxes. So only about $11 total. Pretty good. Pretty good. I might actually be having more fun with the Shining Fates box than I am um, with Chilling Rain right now. Unless 
they decide the the RNG gods decide to be nice and give us a hit on this next pack, then I'm gonna take back everything I said. Dude, Brian, <laughs> the shiny fates one are totally fake. There is no way I can get three Charizards in one box. I mean, I guess from from the camera angle itself, it d does look kind of kind of real, right? It does look kind of real. I mean, Jeff, you and Emily can take a look at it and compare it to your Charizard, but that Charizard definitely has the shininess to it. And look at this non-hollow. Oh man, could you imagine if I actually pulled these many hits in a box? Um, I think that that video legit would get like a million views because it's a real god box. Do they even have something like that? I think I saw Super Duper Danny's like video title say like God Booster Box from EV Heroes or something. I didn't watch it. I just assumed it was not going to be a god box. Which one is fake? Um, well, you tell me. Guess. Guess which one you think is fake. That's the real game here. Which one do you think is fake? And which one is real and does not give us as good pulls? <laughs> All right. Yeah. No, you're absolutely correct. It is Shining Fates. Um, Chilling Rain, as, as cool as it is, I don't think anybody's trying to fake Chilling Rain. No. Yeah, you're right, Lux. Uh, they don't make any booster boxes of any types of special sets. So lately, every year, po <laughs> All right, are we are we just lucky or are we lucky, right? Like the first, I don't know, 12 packs, we had nothing. We had like a ball guy and whatnot, but now we're pulling Shining Charizards like they're, like it's candy, right? Wow, let's look at the, the it's a little, this one's a little bit better. I would say this could be a put PSA 7. Look, I'm, I might be holding the only potentially graded fake AliExpress Charizards in the world. And that's worth something. Pull three fake Charizards to summon one. Oh, you mean the one that you guys have? So <laughs> I think uh, we have to pull three more in order for us to get a little bit more, more Charizards. Um, but yeah, no. So so what I was saying before is that all special sets every year, like Dragon Majesty from two thousand I think eighteen, Hidden Fates in two thousand nineteen, and Shining Fates and actually even champions path in 2020 um none of them will come in booster boxes they will come in etbs they'll come in uh sometimes they'll come in blisters or pin collections but they'll never come in booster boxes because on average the msrp for those comes out to about five dollars where a regular set like chilling rain is on average is about four dollars a pack um so i think i was trying to do like a uh, expected value calculation on them and they are generally higher for the special sets because you know you are getting a chance to have a shiny on both the reverse hollow slot as well as the hollow slot so the odds stack up a little bit better now i will say i haven't done this yet for chilling rain but because so many different cards this is such a huge set but so many different cards have <gasps> looks like we haven't broken the curse but we got one to add to your full collection. You did not have this one before, and now you do. Um, wow. This is a hit. Is this our secret rare hit? No, it's not. No, it's not. We still have a secret rare in the midst of this box. Um, what I was saying before is that Chilling Rain, it has so many high value cards, right? Like so many cards above $30. I think it's like 30 some odd cards above $30, that the expected value for this pack might actually be really, really high. Even though it doesn't have a $300 card like a Charizard, it has multiple $100 plus cards like the Snorlax, um, like the Blaziken and everything, that the average value you expect to get returned for these packs is, is fairly high. There's no secret rare guaranteed in the English boxes though. Um, is that the case? For Vivid Voltage, Battle Styles, they have all seem to have um, those hits. Now, I know recently, I think PTCG Radio was talking about it, where 
uh, not Eevee heroes, but the following sets, Towering Perfection and Blue Sky Stream, were not guaranteed to have secret rares in the box. So um, that would be kind of sucky if that's the case. But, you know, I was always under the impression and any of the booster boxes that I've opened have always had a secret rare. So that's, I mean, secret rare being anything past the numbering, right? So in Chilling Rain, it's what, 198? So they would be 199, 200, etc. That could be an alt art, that could be a rainbow rare, and that could be a gold secret rare. But we'll see. I'm I'm hoping that that there is at least a secret rare in here. Um, but I will say for for now though, opening up that Shadow Rider Calyrex V Max full art has been the biggest hit so far. I've had a few boxes without a secret rare. That's you know, so I wonder if that's policy now, or it's just it's their new printing facility, the one that they promised back in February or March, saying that they would up production on it. Um, I wonder if it's just that they haven't had that up to running quite perfectly yet. Um, if they don't have a secret rare in them, okay. So I've there's two sort of two schools of thought on that, right? One is that's really crappy, right? Like I buy I buy this pack this box and I'm not guaranteed something. This is really crappy for kids to open and stuff like that. However, on the collector side, right? It makes these other cards just that much more rare and hard to find. If you're not guaranteed something in one, you might have to open up even more boxes. And now that I'm thinking about it, that would explain um, a lot of the prices, right? Like the, the high prices that have sustained for chilling rain like they haven't gone down that much what we saw in battle styles and even in shining fates prices jumped dropped like 30 percent within the first month we're not seeing that in chilling rain they've fallen maybe 10 15 percent not much though so that could explain it though that would be a reason why and if you're lucky enough to uh pull those types of nice cards oh, oh i thought i pulled another charizard again for a second um pull some of those cards then yeah like it's gonna sustain value they're they're gonna come out in waves though so i do expect them to go uh to fall even further but you know what it wouldn't surprise me if for example the galarian moltres still stays around 90 dollars in the long term right it's about what 129 dollars right now the moltres isn't a secret rare so i wouldn't mind uh the wait are you talking about the the galarian moltres v is that not a uh, the alt art is not a secret rare man i must have missed out on something i gotta check that out let's see i'm, I'm just checking this out on tcg player right now galarian moltres v oh you're right 177 out of 198 you're so correct oh shoot um i eat my words then you know what like these could be pretty potentially pretty good um easy pulls but uh, hard to say Oh wow, I'm I'm really surprised actually on that. The Zera or all the all the alternate arts are not secret rares. Huh. We'll see. We shall see. Alright, Matt Spy. What do you think? We're about almost halfway there, maybe a little bit more. We'll get through the Shining Fates as well, and then we'll open up a Jack Black Geist, and hopefully we'll get something pretty crazy. All the V alt arts aren't. Yeah, you're right. I had no idea that was the case. Another Reverse Hollow cast form, and a Kecleon. Hmm. Well, so is that your chase card right now? That, that's the one that you absolutely want? Like, if we pulled it right now, you just, you just kind of um, just call it a day. Don't even need to collect Chilling Rain anymore. Or are you going for the Master Set? With this one, for some reason, oh, this is the first time we've seen Kyogre. It's actually a pretty good, pretty good fake. If it didn't have all the, uh, the if it had all the shiny stuff on it, it was a pretty good fake. Um, for some reason, I didn't want to collect, or I know I didn't want to collect a Master Set of battle styles but chilling rain something about it makes me kind of go hey that's a pretty interesting set to collect i don't have to chase a charizard like in uh hidden fates or shining fates 
but the cards are interesting enough that it might be worth my time. But that being said, this is a massive, massive set. And you would never buy Chilling Rain ever again? I get, I, I, I get that sentiment. I feel like um, I could feel the same way too. But I think, what would I have to pull? I'd probably have to pull... I'd probably have to pull the Galarian Zapdos V to feel that way. I, I'm not a huge fan of the chase card in the set, which is the, the Blaziken alt art. Which, yes, I'm now confirming that is a secret rare. 201 out of 198. So it's a VMAX alt art that is a secret rare. So we can potentially get both in there. In K. And a Galarian. Why do they keep putting... We had one in Shining Fates. We have one here. All right. I like you before. Now, now you're getting a little bit old. This almost kind of looks fake too. Doesn't it? Huh. Um, yeah. I would not want to buy Chilling Rain if I hit Zapdos. Let's see. Come on. What else we got here? I would sell and trade for the Moltres. Yeah, same. So I just, I mean, I never played the, uh, was Gen 3 religiously. So that's why I don't have that much, um, I don't know, attachment to Torchic in that line. To me, it's like a fire chicken. I don't know. He looks kind of weird. He looks like a, like a, like a fire bird from the seventies with his bell bottoms and everything. It's, it, I, I don't know. It's not my deck. <laughs> um... It, I guess it is kind of cool. Like he, like what I like, I do like about the card though, is that he's kind of like, he's huge and he's towering over. I think it's Inteleon and Drizzly and and Sobble on a building. So he's just this massive entity, and he's just kind of awkward looking. Um, so I guess there's some merit to that. I don't know who the artist is on that, but it was is an interesting drawing. I always say that the all the hand drawn artists alternate arts are really really interesting. But what I'm more excited about, really, like even more than Eevee Skies or Eevee Heroes, Evolving Skies, oh, all those Pikachu promos. Whoo! I can't believe those are a thing. Like they're bringing back. I really really like the new uh, V Max um, flying Pikachu. When I was a kid. Flying Pikachu was like this mythical card. That and Birthday Pikachu. It was like, oh, this card's worth like $500. Um, because it was like the, the, the Japanese one at the time. And I always dreamed of getting one. And I remember I got my hands on one Japanese one, but it was ripped in half. And I was just like so heartbroken. Like I got traded ripped in half. And I had, I had to trade like an arm and leg for it just to get a Birthday Pikachu. Um, so getting one of those Flying Pikachus will be really, really fun. That's why I also liked it in XY Evolutions. Um, like, I'll keep all of them. I'll, uh, I like all of those cards. And I'm just trying to build a, a Pikachu promotional set as well. That's also what I've been looking at on eBay lately. Is a lot of the older, not Sword and Shield, a little bit on the Sun and Moon side, but also on the Black and, or the black and White and XY uh, series promotion, uh, promo cards in Japan. If I can find some of those, those would be interesting to... Uh, to collect, because I think those are, are going to maintain some value in this Pokemon downturn. Um, I'll probably be releasing a video soon on like certain areas of Pokemon that I'm really looking at, and you know, hint, which is not really a hint at all because it's kind of obvious. But like some of the older stuff, Japanese stuff, is sort of on my radar. Um, I bought a bunch of stuff too that I'll be putting out a new video. Like I'll do like a this is what I bought in July, and it's a couple of graded cards couple of singles that I thought are really interesting that I'll, I'm probably gonna look to buy more of because you know there could be ooh Cobalion this is actually a pretty cool card huh I don't like that um that I think you know my my general sentiment on all of this is it's gonna continue to fall how how much further it falls I don't think I think we're pretty close. We're pretty close to the bottom. I don't think we're at the bottom yet, but it doesn't hurt to buy a little bit more right now while everything is pretty cheap, right? If you can find it in the store, get it. Um, if you can find stuff on eBay for cheaper, get it. Even if it falls, let's say 10%, your downside is a lot smaller now, right? Like if you look at some of the historical pricing from before COVID, 
I mean, they're around the prices right now. So it seems like as this hobby is growing, um, some of the rarer cards will still maintain their value. Have I pre-ordered Evolving Skies? I've ordered a couple cases of the booster boxes. We'll see um, when they come, if and when they come in. Um, but yeah, I'll probably I plan on opening those. I, I I've been kind of refraining from opening or even pre-ordering some of the Japanese sets, um, just because I know the because now because they're coming out in waves for English, like they're all gonna coincide with like the. The English ones coming out. So, like for example, there's no point in in kind of opening Towering Perfection or Blue Sky Stream with EV Heroes coming out in a month, or not EV Heroes. I mean, Evolving Skies coming out in a month. So, I'd rather just have the English ones on hand. Um, it's just gonna be more fun, I think. I'll probably like I would probably buy Japanese boxes for myself, but for the stream and buying like large amounts of them, um, it's just been tough because a lot of them. I've been holding on to for a very, very long time. Like they haven't been bought on the, on on the channel or on the shop for a long time. So just holding that amount of money in Japanese, while I know is like pretty good to hold for the long term, just for liquidity purposes, I'll probably refrain from it. English is just gonna go a lot quicker. Is my point. Deerling, Sneasel, for Frau, the weird. This is the the. The, the pet or whatever that you get the honey from in the game, right? Fire resistant gloves and <gasps> Ampharos. This is a hit in my book. I've been buying a lot of Ampharos graded cards recently. That's also another goal of mine. Collect all the Ampharos, Alakazam cards, Southern Island set. If I get those, I'll be pretty happy. Like those are the ones that are kind of resistant. I'm, I'm pretty resistant to any price fluctuations. I don't really care that I bought it for, let's say, 10% more. Like, obviously, I'm trying to get the best price on eBay, for example. But if I like the card, I'll probably get it. Also, Ampharos is, like, pretty popular, but it's not as popular as, like, a Charizard, for example, right? So the prices are never going to be command, are never going to command as much. Like, the highest I've seen in Ampharos go is, like, $1,000, maybe. Whereas you have ultra-modern, like, Charizards, right? Like, a Charizard PSA 10 um, from Hidden Fates easily hits, like, $1,000 now. So... Maybe a little bit less, but um, we're talking, you know, Wizards of the Coast Ampharoses. Uh, so I think it's a good Pokemon to have as your favorite. It's kind of low key, but kind of not. And it's pretty cute. So let's keep going. How many half packs do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is, we have 11 packs left, including this one. Um,. Hopefully, let's see, expecting maybe three more hits on this. So let's see what we get. Come on. One, two, three. But yeah, are you, what are you, what are you guys, um, are you guys planning on buying Evolving Skies? Or are you more excited for um, the 25th anniversary? I really, I'm really excited for the 25th anniversary. If I can get my hands on any gold Pikachu boxes from Japan, I keep those forever like I, I have a bunch of um the ultra premium collections for example um i should have bought some 2016 one. Oh, we got the celebi that is our fifth or sixth hit this is the burger king cabbage right have you ever seen that meme celebi very nice very nice another hit let's see what else we got what else we got? Shining Fates. Almost towards the end of this one. And then we'll power through some Jet Black Geist. Gale, what are the cards you're looking for in Jet Black? Do you have any chase cards that you're looking at? Maybe a Caitlyn? I think Caitlyn's in Jet Black, or is she in Silver Lance? I always forget. Let's see. I think I saw something in the back. I'm not sure, but it felt like a hit. I don't want to, uh, you know, cause any 
unneeded excitement, but I think I saw a black card in the back. So we'll see. We got Avery, we got Slowpoke. Avery kind of sucked this game, right? Avery sucked. Clara's supposed to be much better. I had I had Pokemon Shield, so that's why I got stuck with Avery. It's kind of a scrub. We got oh, we got a Blaziken. So some of these hits are coming back to back now. Now it's not the alt art, but still pretty cool. Look at that. Again, not my favorite Pokemon, but he's uh looks pretty fierce here, huh? I'll do some damage with this high jump kick, I'm assuming. <laughs> Does anybody here play the TCG? I can't tell if that's a good card or not. Like 210 damage, it sounds like that's some pretty serious damage that'll uh, destroy most B maxes, I want to say. Or no, I think B maxes are like in the 300s in terms of HP. Monkass? What is Monkass? Mad Spy. Is that your chase card? A Monkass? A Monkey Ass? Ooh, this is tough to open. Let's see. Dragapult. Copperaja. Ball guy again, coming to haunt me. That's like our third Cinderace. Don't worry, I'll send you all of these hits. Because they're going to be so great. I mean, maybe I should sell some of these in bulk and see if somebody will actually give me um, like four cents per, per card. On Twitch, it's an emote of Pepe sweating. <laughs> what? Damn, I wish I could see it now. All right. I have a good feeling about this one. Good feeling. What do you guys think? We got honey. Honey. Impact energy. We had the reverse hollow of that. Path to the peak. Mareep. Rockruff. Swirlix. Lapras. Deerling. Another Gallade. And. Sauce Buck. Evolved from Deerling. We had a lot of deer here in, uh, in New Jersey. Right, Jeff and Emily? Deer everywhere. All they do is just like come out in herds lately because of COVID. They've like they've been getting a lot more courageous, and all they do is just like eat your eat your trees and poop on your lawn. They're so annoying. In any every other part of the U.S., people are like, "Oh, I love deer. They're so cute. They're they're so nice and and they're so gracious." Not in New Jersey. In New Jersey, they're just ugh. They're like I, I I don't I can't even find a word for it that's appropriate on stream to use, but. I do not like them. And when they're staring at you and they're pooping, their poop comes out in like these huge pellets. And they're just staring at you at the same time. It's like the ultimate diss. It's like, what are you gonna do about it, fool? Let's see. All right. What's good here? Your mask. One, two, three. Lightning Energy, Haunter, one of my favorite trios, just because I'm a Gen 1 bitch. Everything to me, my brothers always tell me, is like, oh, this is just a bootleg Gengar. This is a bootleg Pidgey, Weavile, and Slurpuff. Of course, this is a real Pokemon. Can't believe you are a real Pokemon. That's ridiculous. Uh... Man, maybe I should just open all these shiny cakes at once. Like, what are we getting from here? Nothing. Yeah, let's open all these at once and see what happens. One. Oh, we got a Charizard though. One. All right, how many Charizards do you think we can get in the next? What is that, six packs? Let's see, that's one Charizard. So we're at four Charizards now. Let's see, when they run across roads, yeah. Um, I hit one when I was in high school. Oh, two Charizards, two out of two. Uh, I hit one when I was in high school and it just completely ruined the headlights and I was just so angry. And like, this was like this big buck and he just got up, stared at me and ran away. And it was just like completely told the front end of the car. So angry. And it was just like in those whining roads, like you just don't expect them to come out. 
He just like pops out. Gives you the middle finger with his horns. It's the worst. Height deer. Um, but but I do like deer in Japan. We visited Nara Island. Oh, I think I saw Charlie in the back. We visited um was it Nara Island? I think it's an island. Where they just have the, the, the really domesticated deer that bow to you when they want food. It's kinda weird. But at the same time you can like pet them, they're kinda dirty. But they're interesting. I would, I would totally go back. I also really want to go to Japan um, to see... There's that like special rabbit island. Um, where there's literally like thousands upon thousands of bunnies that just like are wild and hop around and you can feed them. And you just visit. Um, I think that'd be really cool. I just really want to go and travel to places where there's lots of animals. And you can just like pet them. That'd be kind of cool. Um, a couple other places I want to go to are the... There's like in Kyoto, you can go up to the mountains and, and, and chill with the monkeys who steal your stuff. Um, I want to go to Jamaica. I think it's Jamaica or Bermuda with the uh, like the pigs on the beach. Although I heard like uh, from an eco point of view, it's actually really, really bad that there's so many visitors there because there's so much um, pollution now and garbage in those waters that like, the pigs can't survive in there. And then they've started to rely on these visitors, these tourists to come and feed them. They've become so dependent on them that it's become bad for the ecosystem um but i, I do kind of want to see it at the same time so i'm sort of conflicted quokas oh <gasps> yes 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 i really so i um a bucket list item of mine is also to go to, uh, to australia new zealand um check out all the wildlife there too i just like i don't know just want to see all the animals i even want to see like like um like i don't know eight foot centipedes or millipedes um when i was learning about those those kinds of things on like national geographic back in the day when i was a kid it's just like amazon rainforest quokas um crazy large bats or something it's really cool uh the final place that i really want to go to besides like uh, i guess galapagos it would be one of them the amazon rainforest um <laughs> i really want to go to capybaras they're they're kind of like huge quokas right they're just massive um i don't know where they're from though like, what country are they indigenous to? Um, but I really want to go to Costa Rica. Like, I've been to Costa Rica, but I've never been to the dog sanctuary. They have a like a, like a sanctuary with over, like, 600 dogs that you can go and visit and volunteer and help out. And you can also adopt the dogs at the end of the day, too. So I think that'd be really cool. Really cool experience. Like, they, there's a couple of videos on YouTube of it. And the dogs look like they're having so much fun. But they're barely scraping by on donations. All right, so six packs. We got two Charizards out of that, and total across 36 packs, I think we got five Charizards. Um, two Ball Guys. Oh, pretty good, right? Alright, so let's finish the rest of this Chilling Rain pack. Let's get this Shining Fates out of the way. And see what the rest of luck brings us. Um, Capybaras. Are, are both Quokas and... Um, Bars, are they vegetarian or do they eat meat? For some for some reason, I don't know. Like it wouldn't surprise me if they, I don't know, use their paws to fish. I feel like capybaras do. Just massive, massive, like cow-sized furry creatures. Um, what else was? Oh, I mean, uh, other animals. I really want to see a Galapagos turtle. Like they're just like 300 years old. They're just older than sequoia trees at this point um so they've seen some shit i would chill with them um another gallade hmm. let's see five more packs what kind of magic all right one two three four five six we've had six hits already so far huh okay so if we get two more i think we'd be right on track for a decent if not like above average booster box. I think Jeff and Emily, that's how many you guys got in your in your box, right? Eight hits. Alright, let's see. Google says both herbivores. Okay. It looks so fuzzy though. In my mind I'd be like, hmm, I wanna pet that capybara, but I feel like it could probably do some damage to me. So 
Doug Trio. Mm, not a hit, though. All right. But where are they indigenous? Are they also Australian? Maybe like Brazil. I could see that because like the the word capybara just sounds kind of Brazilian too. It sounds like sort of Portuguese descent or etymology. I don't know. Let's see. Echoing horn. Seabold. Oh, you're the worst. Sawbold. Bound sweet. The pretty dog. Arvestra. Fire resistant gloves and a Zeb Strika. Come on. Let's pull strong for this last one. Apparently, Kevaras eat their own poop in the morning. Oh, so it's just like a lot of my friends' dogs. Got it. So they're just water dogs. What furry water dogs. Kinda kind of like seals and uh and otters, huh? But why in the morning? Is it Is it the freshest then? You know? Or is it I don't know. That's kinda weird. I, I like it was probably like the national the Nat Geo guy that was just monitoring them, all the scientists, and was like, our observation from this is that not only do they like to eat their own feces, they only do it from the hours of 6 a.m. to 12 p.m. Like somebody was tracking that. That's what's really funny to me. It's just like I noticed this trend. They don't do this at night. They wait until the morning because that's when they eat. You know, I don't know brunch or something. A.A. Ron and <gasps> okay, it's something. It's something. It's a full art. It's a full art. It's a full art. <laughs> it's a Sandaconda V Max. This is not a secret rare. You might be right, guys. Um, we might not be getting a secret rare in this box, but it is a V Max. My brother got this Sandaconda as well in his booster box that huh i'm like doing a tornado type of thing g max cyclone sorry that's what he's doing saving it for breakfast probably right all right three more packs what do you think can we at least pull a white code card and get a hollow i actually haven't seen much many hollows that's what's interesting i think we've seen more uh ultra rares like these v maxes then we have of regular holographic cards. Like we saw the, I don't remember what we saw, honestly. Not weird. Of course, there's been so many green cards in here. Let's see. Oh, actually, are the NBA finals tonight? Or no, they played yesterday, right? Just wanna make sure I'm not missing anything. No, I think they played yesterday. Today is Sunday. So Sunday scaries are about to hit in. Clara, Baba Puss. Mareep, Ralts, Cast Form, Snover, Zebstrika, and Agron. All right, come on. Two more packs. Two more packs. What do we got here? Let's see. Ooh, these packs are kind of rough, huh? Second to last pack. If we can get one more hit, this would be very, very good box. If not, it'd be like kind of an average box. Not bad though. You got two V Maxes, I think, right? No, three V Max full arts. Pretty good for booster box. I think it's better than a couple of my um, vivid voltage ones that I've opened. Come on, we got faith. We got faith. Oh, Hatterene. That is a hollow, at the very least. But. We're down to the Shadow Rider Calyrax Mads by. This box did not give us a Charizard. But it gave us a couple of interesting hits. We got to start off with the Cub Fu. We'll put three cards in front of him. And we'll see him in a little bit. Scroll the skies. Here, Leah, last pack magic. Come on. Fog Crystal. Cub Fu again, making his return. Quillfish, a 3D rendered version. Galarian Slowpoke. Weedle. Kirlia. And for our last pack magic, we got Zeb Strika. 
Seven hits total out of the box. Let's count them again just to make sure. All right, so we got the Blaziken V, that's one. Celebi two. Metagross and Shadow Rider Calyrex VMAX, that's three and four. Sandaconda, five. Metagross VMAX, six. And a Lipard V, that's seven. So seven hits. And you also copped five Charizards and two Ball Guys. All right, all right. Not bad, not bad. I will say the Charizards probably made it worth it. So, thanks, man. That was that, that was that was pretty entertaining for a Chilling Rain box. It was better than my Jet Black Guys uh, opening a couple weeks back. So I'll say you know you still did better than I could have done. That's for sure. But there's look at look at all this. Look at all these reverse hollows that are coming your way. Nice. And on that right hand side, there's gonna be some bulk for you as well. <laughs> But thank you, thank you. That was that was good. That was good. That's good. Put that off to the side. And let's work on this guy next. Jet black geist. Alright. You ready? You ready, Juan? Let's burn this. Let's burn through this. Let's do some. Let's do well on these cards. Let's get you a. Let's also get you a Shadow Rider, Calyrex. Let's go. Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome, Mad Spy. Let's keep doing this. Let's keep. Let's keep at it. You'll you'll find you'll find that uh, Galarian Bird in no time. Like I, if it's not today, it'll be tomorrow. It'll be something some some other time. I think I think you you'll you'll have some. Uh, Good luck coming your way. All right. What I'm do is take this, put some scissors. Your Sierra Luck has run out. What other what other cards have you pulled in Chilling Rain so far? Cutting through these in bulk so that we don't have to spend too much time cutting them up front. I've actually gotten pretty good at cutting Japanese packs lately. So. That's why you see all that speed. Put that up here. We'll cut the others. So there's 30 packs total in this uh, in this box. And look at that. Because I'm uh, be better. Gold. Oh, you got. The, you did get the gold star. Our alt art, Akuno, a couple trainers, and FAs. Okay, that's actually pretty solid. You opened how many? Like two or three boxes. I'll say that's pretty solid for um for those pulls in. Gold Snorlax already by by is already um considered what the huge chase. Third best card. Fourth best card. Out. That's a pretty big win. All right. All right, Juan. Let's do this. Let's finish off strong with this. Five cards in each pack. Let's go. In the front. First pack magic. We got a V. Is there aura? Or no, what's his name? I forget. Maybe it is. Nice, nice. Uh, move this to the side. So this doesn't get in the way. Okay. Put one in the front. Ledian. Is that the impact energy? We'll never know. 
Actually, let's put this, let's put him oh, right in front here. Not bad, not bad. One on the front. I see a, what's it called? Not the Zebstrika. The other zebra Pokemon. Hey, a hollow. Hollow Grap Locked. Nice. What else is here? Um, let's keep going. Inkay in the front. Two, three, four. Ampharos, what is up? Uh, I'm playing music, but there's... oh, there it is. That's why. One in the back. Now, remember, with these Japanese booster boxes, you're not guaranteed a rare in every single pack. So, which is why you're seeing some of these cards where there's just like, it doesn't seem like there's any hits. The reverse hollow, nothing. Um, but there are 30 packs in here, and I wonder if we're gonna hit something. In this pack, we have Celebi Full Art. I think I pulled this one last time, maybe for myself, maybe for somebody else. But this one is definitely, definitely considered a hit. Go, fucking LFG. This is also a top load, so let's get that one going. Nice. That's pretty nice. All right. One in the back. Let's keep going. Coughing. Clubopus. Back here. Scroll of the Skies. Grookey Gang. Kecleon. And a Gengar. Gengar making his appearance there. So I think with a Japanese booster box, including hollows and secret rares and everything, so everything plus the hollows, um, you expect to get, I believe, it's 10 to 12 hits. I think I saw something in the back. Don't quote me on that, though. You ready? Ghastly? Oh, okay. Cobalion? Nice. Cobra line. <laughs> that is technically another hit. Does that mean that we ran we're using up all our luck right now? We haven't even gone through 10 packs yet, I don't think. Haunter. Let's keep trying. Let's keep trying. Uh size is that seismitoad or something? Yeah. Clob of puss. Peonia. See, now, now I'm starting to play the actual expansion itself. I know their names. I'm not I'm not at a loss for words when I when I pull these cards. Finally. Fluffy, Kecleon. Weavile. That's hit number six. What else we got in here? Is that Golurk? Golurk's supposed to have a pretty cool alternate art in uh, Evolving Skies. So, we'll see what happens there. Let's see. So wacky. Seismitoad's uh, pre-evolution. I don't know his name, though. Because I never caught him. Is he good for the... He's, uh, is he good on Pokemon teams? I don't know. Caitlyn, cast form. Lydian. Hey! Arctovish? 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 Hit another ultra rare. Hyper rare? Uh, ultra rare. Alright, so we have two Vs, a V Max, and five holographic cards so far. So that's hit number eight. Eight hits. Pretty good. We're actually way more than on track with Jet Blackgeist. Zeb Strika. Zeb Strika? Strika? This kind of makes me want to play uh, continue the expansion. I just finished catching Suicune 
on. Oh! Oh! Our first gold secret rare on this opening today. I really like this card. I really like the Hidden Fates Shining Voltorb. Shiny Voltorb, and I really, really like this card. I don't know why Electrode is not a super popular Pokemon by any means, but nice. Oh, that's hyped. I really like that. That's super cool. Wow, okay. Look at that. Looks super nice. Very nice, very nice, very nice. That's pretty sweet. Wow. Electrode. I just like the fact that they're blue. I don't know why. But that is hit number five, eight, nine. We're already on track. I think it was I said eight to ten hits, right? Or ten to twelve. Either way, we have what eight packs left to go? Nine packs left to go? That might have been your your secret rare of the uh, of the box. Actually, yeah, it is. It is. Again, though, with Mad Spy, you're saying there's no guaranteed secret rare potentially. Is that in Chilling Rain or is it also in their Japanese uh, counterparts? Either way, we hit it, so I'm really happy that we did. Is there something else in the back that I see? It is. Ugh, Greedent. Well, that is hit number 10. Wow, this is a really good box. What? Let's see what else we got here. Kecleon, Wacky. Okay, okay. What else we got? What was his name? I forget. Muskrat or something. <laughs> oh, another hit. Another Celebi. We got both Celebes. What if you get the third one? I think that's the secret rare, right? 11 hits or something like that. I'm losing count now. You're just getting too many. We still have... Oh, we have a lot more packs than I thought left. Whoa. This is a, this is a good pack. This is a good box. I think the, the manufacturing company just dropped the ball here. They're like, oh, looked away for a second. And then they put all the, uh, the hits in here. Caitlin. Nice! Is that my Lodic? I think? No, it's not. Who is that? Which Pokemon is that? I, I actually, I, I am confused. I don't know who that is. I think that's hit number 12. Sheesh. Golduck. Also a very weird Pokemon. Are you guys playing any, any other video games besides Pokemon? Galarian Weezing. Let's see. Ooh, this one's stuck a little bit. Oh, we have another hit. Hey, it's our favorite buddy. Metagross V. We pulled him in the English already, in the English cards already. And now he's making his return, his triumphant return in Japanese. That's hit number 13. Wow, this is a lot of hits. Pleasantly surprised. So Japanese is still the way to go, huh? Rillaboom. He's always banging his drum. Like... Man, you're so loud. Clobopus in the front. All right. Seabert. Bert and Ernie. Seabert and Sea Ernie. I'm playing Persona 5 at the moment, looking for my next RPG. Uh, my brother and his girlfriend are playing Persona 5 right now. Apparently, it, I've never played Persona. But I heard it's a really, 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 really long game. Is that right? 
Uh, next RPG, um, Diablo, Diablo 2 Resurrected. If you grew up with that, I think that's uh, that's like far and away my favorite RPG. Last pack, Magic. Juan, you ready? Let's go. Peonia. Rookie. Cue to fly. The heartfish. I forget your name. Oh my god, we have last pack magic. Last pack magic. He's hit number 14. The full art. Hey! Very nice. Pulled the exact same card in English for Mad Spy. Wow. What a crazy box. Let's go. Let's go. Very nice. Wow. What a box. All right, let's 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 do a little bit of a recap here. I I this might be the best Japanese box I've seen in a super long time. I I what? All right, let's let's I right, mean, let me just put these in the way, put the hollows, organize them a little bit. Um wow. Okay. So, in terms of the hollows, right? We have how many? We have like 6 or 7. That's 1. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, remember, there were 30 packs in here. Seven of them are already hollows. And on top of that, one, wait, let's, let's see. One, two, three. Oh, oh, eight of them are actually hollows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So 15 out of the 30 are hitters in this 15 out of 30 what that's nuts okay so we have the celebi full art v max the arctivish v i think that's Sarah aura no i correct me on this one guys v shadow rider calyx Vmax. max i actually should top load this one look at that that's and you know what? That's not even the hit of the box. Metagross V, Celebi V, and we got the gold secret electrode. Whoa! Definitely the hit of the stream. Wow. I like the music that's going on with here too. It feels like very much like Electrode's uh, theme here. Wow. Impressive. All right. Well, thanks for that. Thanks. This was. This is also really entertaining for me. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I'll put this one away. But I'll, I'll make sure to send this out either tomorrow or uh, or Tuesday. What do you think? I mean, what was more entertaining? The Shining Fates booster boxes, the Chilling Rain booster boxes, or the Jet Black Geist? I mean, as nice of the hits that we got from Jet Black Geist, I want to say, and like Chilling Rain, we had some pretty good stuff too. I want to say five Charizards from Shining Fates probably takes the cake. Um, I mean, at some point, Brian didn't even know that these cards were fake, so I'm like, you know, maybe people maybe people on YouTube won't know it either, and they'll be like, wow, it's a god box. We should totally buy them from AliExpress and try to sell with, with the money they for $350. We'll see. But, yeah. I think that was, uh, I would say it's a pretty good stream today. Um, you know, it's just nice to be back, just chatting with some people. Um, and I'll, I'll, I'll make sure to put out some more videos as well. But, uh, yeah, I think, I think, uh, just make sure, you know, like, if, if you haven't already, join the Discord, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, or even follow us on, um, on Twitch. I'll try to do some more things. Uh, maybe I'll start trying to play some more video games because, um, I might try to start playing Diablo 2 online again in anticipation for Resurrected that's coming out, which is the remake. Diablo 2, Diablo 3 is going to come out soon, so keep, up, keep updated. Keep me updated too. If you have anything, like suggestions or anything you want to update me on your life, just uh, you know, feel free to ping me on Discord or just put it in the general channel off topic and we can, we can chat. I'm back and I just want to stay engaged with you guys. See you guys. Peace.